What? With the proper exposure and stimulation, the mutation possibilities are boundless. The potential for amalgamation... <laughs> Which is, of course, an epistatic effect owing to increased cytoplasmic facidity in what the... What are you doing? <clears throat> Preparing the report. Can you not do it quietly? Perhaps try using the keyboard? The keyboard? How quaint. Ugh. Gosh darn it, it's saved. <laughs> okay. Well... Um, if, if, if everyone is confused right there, um, I beat it uh, 4.1 on my own without recording it. Uh, just to check how the heck do I beat this level on hard or insane. So I'm gonna record this time uh, to show how I beat it. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody enjoys watching that and stuff damn i <laughs> i thought it wouldn't save good thing i did try it on my own because i died uh, a lot of times this solenopsis invicta fire ant queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the fire ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. Alright. So first we do this. that and then we open this area over here so yeah, i've beaten this level but i lost a lot of times and i'm not gonna try it on insane because it is very hard on insane <laughs> but later on i will try it again on insane if i beat the, this level and the other levels now Right. You do it like this. So basically what I have to do is I have to go the colony lies the, in the shadow of a great titan the to the north. First. An American bullfrog. This large female has found the perfect spot to feed. Sheltered by foliage and in the path of many wandering insects and smaller oh, amphibians, she has no reason to move on. Eventually she will need to be displaced, but for now, the fire ants have more pressing business to attend to. Go my ants, go, 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 go. And I have to be quick about this. <clears throat> I lost a lot of times trying to do this, so hopefully it will be successful otherwise. Oh crap. There's already one of these over there. Hold on. Many of the milkweed plants growing nearby oh, are infested with aphids. Their honeydew excretions present an ideal energy-rich food source for the fire ants. Aphids far from the nest are vulnerable, however, and are sometimes relocated closer to home where they can be better protected from predators and thieves. The boggy soil surrounding the nest is lacking in nitrogen and phosphorus, nutrients vital for plants Great. to photosynthesize Already, um, and grow. A little bit. <laughs> to survive in this environment, some have evolved to supplement their mineral diet by trapping and dissolving invertebrate prey. This doesn't always work on the beginning. But when it does, eh, that's epic. Right, so let's try this again.
Basically, I just have to get the aphids in the beginning very quickly before, you know. The fire ants have encountered a tribe of Monomoria minimum black ants. These tiny little ants may seem feeble, but the Invicta colony would do well to treat them with caution. Although primarily scavengers, they are armed with powerful chemical secretions and have been known on occasion to invade fire ant nests. A small colony of Fadele Morisi big-headed ants have established themselves on a hill to the west. Run, Scavenging fools, for seeds, aphids, and dead insects, they are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. A magnolia green jumping spider, Lysoman viridis, has ambushed a fire ant. It prefers to hunt on foliage where it is less likely to be spotted by predators and prey alike. Out on the ground it's more vulnerable, but that won't stop it from snacking on lone ants far from the safety of the nest. Alright guys, this time I'm gonna beat the sale. I really wanted to do this <coughs> while recording, but holy moly, I lost a lot of times. Next time when I struggle again, I'm just gonna do it on medium. But I just wanted to get the slave completed. I don't really like doing stuff off screen, but yeah. The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. Go, 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 go! A six spotted tiger beetle, Chichindala sexcutata, is on the move near the nest. Its uh. metallic green elytra make it unmistakable, and like its other tiger beetle cousins, long legs give it the speed to chase down small arthropods I don't like with ease. Beetles. The queen is in imminent danger. Protect the queen! I had some few problems with this right now, so hopefully I can still do it. So we capture the aphids here at least. Tonight we'll go for these. A raiding party of little black ants are stealing aphids. They must be chased down. Oh quickly. gosh, darn it! I, I wasn't looking on the map. <laughs> and then there's stuff like this where the other colonies attack your nest uh, early on. That kind of sucks. Can I drop it there? Now my watch.
the battle has begun. Hmm. But yeah, sorry, sorry if I didn't record any of this on off screen. I really wanted uh, to quick early on before it was saving, so that you guys wouldn't know that I really played this off screen. The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. But well, that didn't go that well. The queen is in imminent danger. Protect the queen! Are you serious? Oh boy, we already got. I have to do this before it gets dark. Colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Yeah, these bloody black ants aren't making it easy for me right now. As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge from moist crevices near the water's edge. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers or not at all. The ants have set upon a green link spider, Puchetcha viridans. She prefers to hunt on pitcher plants, but out in the open, she loses her advantage. Far from defenseless, however, when threatened, she can spit venom up to 30 centimeters from her fangs. Alright, oh, right. right, so now we go for this. And then this. A bombardier beetle, Brachinus altianans, is hunting for insects outside the nest. It may seem unwise for it to wander so freely amongst the large amphibians that share the swamp at night, but they would do well to leave it alone. This beetle is a master of chemical warfare. I just figured out that the lag and stuff is when I'm recording and everything. I played this game fine when I was not recording. So it must probably be the recorder. Screw it, just go for it. Run! Go, 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 go! The fire ants and big headed ants have met in their first skirmish. Sensing the new danger, the Maurice. And I kinda don't have to worry about the ancestral super soldier. I've seen that the third will brood, just go feeding right here them until their heads are engorged with muscle. Unless if I uh, yeah, destroy this. The ants have clashed with Quite a bombardier sorry. beetle. Uh, Feeling up. threatened, the beetle mixes a cocktail of chemicals that react together, boil, and explode from a valve at the base of its abdomen. The big-headed ants now have a super soldier cast to justify their name. At huge economic cost to the colony, these frenzied champions have been raised for one purpose. To crush the fire ants. Oh no, don't crush me, ants. Go, 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 go. Get those aphids. All right.
Not too shabby, not too shabby. Yikes. Wait, let's go this way. been devoured by a richea quadra digitata a dwarf salamander it is nimble fast and slender enough to wiggle through tight crevices in search Run! of food ran boy all right go 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 Getting day, he's returning. When I go back, the uh, it's getting day. We have to go before it gets day. Probably had a grudge. <laughs> Yikes. Come on, hurry! Ah! Oh. Dawn breaks, and the salamanders Hold and on. toads retire to their damp alcoves to wait out the sun. This isn't Only going out well. The <laughs> bullfrog remains. She sits patiently on her throne, waiting for the next meal to wander by. This really isn't going well. Alright, you guys can keep that for now. The ants have been attracted to secretions of nectar produced by a yellow pitcher plant. In order to feed, however, the ants must position themselves precariously over a deep vat of digestive liquid. Waxy deposits on the rim ensure that any ant that steps too far in won't be stepping out again. The ants have uncovered a group of hungry checkered beetle larvae. The soft grubs may look defenseless, but they have big jaws and appetites to match. chance to get aphids now.
Hmm. Just wait for them to pass, I guess. Oh, fudge. Never mind that. Go, 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 go. The battle has begun. It was too late. Don't tell me I have to restart this. <laughs> the beginning of the map, this game is very tricky. As you can see. A raiding party of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. They must be stopped. Those are my aphids! I know you stole them, but it's mine now. <laughs> yeah, get him, spider! And just this time, don't go for me, please. Sneaky move. I'm gonna upgrade these ants. It's not very sneaky, but oh well. You know what? Let's go for it. I've got a feeling we can do it. You guys go as well. Gonna need all the soldiers we can get. Go, 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 go! Right, retreat everybody! The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. Colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just got one of these. Oh. Mm. 
It's a bunch of fools. Right, go now. Go, 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 go. While they're distracted. Whoa, 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 hold on. Ha, ha, ha. Good thing I saw you guys. I have to make sure I have to check for the map. Now and then. Are you kidding me? Get him! Get him, spider! You suck. Spider, you suck. Gosh darn it. Alright, we just have to be quick. A raiding party of little black ants are stealing aphids. They must be chased down quickly. Are you kidding me? You guys suck. Hopefully they don't go to this one. The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. Bring it on! Once again, dusk sets in over the swamp. Soon, the sandy undergrowth will be teeming with salamanders, toads, and nocturnal beetles. Go there for a little bit. <laughs> All right. Not too bad, you guys. Not too bad. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Alright, our first tier freeze. Let's go! Even in small numbers, the fire ants are menacing. But in large numbers, they are virtually unstoppable. No, hold on, wait, hold on. Hold up. There are intruders in the nest. 
At night, eastern narrow-mouthed toads patrol above ground looking for food. Ants make up 75% of their diet, so the small colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. There are intruders in the nest. A narrow-mouthed toad has burrowed into the nest. It may be small for a toad, but its appetite for ants is insatiable. Secretions from its skin burn any that manage to escape its projectile tongue. Unstoppable now. It was only the beginning that was hard. <laughs> Although I shouldn't get cocky yet. There might be still stuff that could happen. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Alright, not too bad guys, not too bad. food you can get. Go, 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 go. The ants must fight. A curious ant has ventured onto a Venus flytrap in search of nectar. If it brushes against the hairs on the open, red-tinged leaves, they will snap shut, encasing the ant in an ever-tightening cell. There is no escape. The prisoner will be slowly digested until nothing more than a husk You guys remains. say what? Defenseless you caterpillars what? exposed on the underside of leaves are a welcome snack for the passing I think fire ants. The colony should take advantage while it can. Few meals surrender so willingly. For the swamp amphibians, Oi. the nighttime feast Out there. is over. Toads give way to tiger beetles, and the ant colonies step up their activities. If the fire ants are to stand any chance of establishing a long-lasting empire, they must grow quickly. There is no time to waste. Like I said, Nothing can get against me now.
So yeah, I forgot it's day, but even the other colony store doesn't want to mess with me right now. <laughs> The ants must defend themselves. Um, never mind. <laughs> of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. They must be stopped. You fools think you can stop me? I think not. is now full with tear freeze. I have to build these ends further. Are you bloody what? Yeah, you better run. I actually wanted to kill it. <laughs> As you can see, these aphids, yeah, they do some magical stuff. itself the colony is starving there's not enough food to feed the new brood The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. Uh, don't you worry, I'll attack your ne nest next day. Annoying <clears throat> little buggers. They're still in the aphid! Stop them! I think not. A raiding party of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. They must be stopped. Those are my aphids.
It is time. Gosh darn it. I guess it's not time. Do it, try to attack my nest, I dare ya. that the ants aren't attacking me anymore? Well, I guess I can uh, go and eliminate these guys. Or wait, no, maybe I should uh, go for the uh, aphids first. Uh, that's probably a good choice. A wasp mantid fly, Climachala brunea, has descended from her perch into the path of the ants. Unrelated to true mantids, her spiked raptorial forelegs are a perfect example of convergent evolution. By linking themselves together, the fire ants have formed a pontoon out of their own bodies. It stretches from their home territory to a previously unreachable island, giving them access to new sources of food. You guys just wouldn't give up, would ya? the bridge we're getting that food Love. pathetic all of your creatures wounds stand the might of our fire ants Alright, now you guys are just beaving me off. I'm going for you guys. The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. Today, we will kill one of the colonies. Show no mercy! Night approaches, and the predators of the day give way to their nocturnal counterparts. As they encroach on colony territory, battles must be chosen wisely. Spell Kill the queen! Fear, the fire ants could find themselves quickly Off with her head! The Monomoria Minimum Colony is almost defeated. The Invictor Army must press their advantage. Attack! You know what? Kill the Queen! Noise. The little black ants fought to the last to defend their queen. Now the Invicta colony will enjoy the spoils of war. Defenseless larvae from the vanquished colony will be carried home and fed to the victor's own hungry brood.
Victory is mine. Don't you worry, big headed ants. Your demise will come next. Oh, crud. Gather the food quickly! Now return! We shall defend the nest from those stupid amphibians. Amphibians? Amphibians! Stupid frogs! Alright! Stupid frog! Quickly, grab the red food! There are intruders in the nest. Oh no, they are not. Not for long, anyway. And I can't believe how easy this is now. Oi! No! Has Don't go for that! A carnivorous plant. All right, fine. Backup is coming. Pretty sure you can handle that one. Get the food before the, the, it disappears. Get it! Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh? A fully Is developed this a chicken beetle, Enoclerus rosmaris, has been disturbed by the ants. It has the same ravenous appetite and slicing jaws as its juvenile counterpart. But now paired with thick armor plates, it represents a far greater danger to the colony. Can't even see what's going on in there. Yeah, that's expanded. Why not? We got Staving me. off another night of attacks, the Invicta colony once again proves its strength. Despite this victory, there is yet one obstacle that stands in its way. Ever present, the bullfrog looms over the ants. The beast must be defeated. Yeah, later, later. I'm enjoying myself right now. <laughs> I could probably go for the big frog right off the bat, but I first want to kill this colony.
gather these aphids. And I guess that's all. Then I go kill the big frog. Now my food! Well, I was done. Nah, I'm not done yet. My army will grow to be the strongest empire in the world. Oh no way. Oh no. I don't know why I'm not creating those. It's pointless. Intruders in the nest. Not for long. going for me oh yeah you better not <laughs> predators are loose in the nest the larvae must be protected what a bunch of idiots going for the trap plants Alright, well I cleared everything out in the nest. Now we go for the aphids. must defend themselves. 
That's gonna take long. Alright, whatever you do, ignore these eight stupid ants. Ignore them! An ant has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. Ignore! Jesus. Dummies. Look at these fools. You tear attack my ants. Alright, well, these are these ants are gonna be bigger than uh, these ants right now, so they're gonna be my main attack force. Silent Foon. The battle has begun. Yeah, big heads won't stand a chance against my army. Ignore the damn food. A wingless parasitic wasp, Dazzy Mutilla occidentalis, more commonly known as the Red Velvet Ant, has wandered into Invicta territory. Although not on the hunt for fire ants, it will defend itself if threatened. Armed with an extremely powerful sting and displaying bright warning stripes, most creatures give it a wide berth. Alright, where's the queen? Where are you? There she is. Go, go, go! Eliminate the queen! The Maurici colony nice. has fallen. Their champions spent and their queen vanquished. In the end, they could not stand up to the might of the Invicta army. Alright, get the food. Quickly now. And you guys can go for those. Gonna do this. We can't have, we are having food for days. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade these. I mean, I'm uh, gonna build these colony.
As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge from moist crevices near the water's edge. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should there travel in numbers or not at all. You think I'm afraid of the dark? Of the night? afraid of anything anymore. I'm unstoppable, I'm invincible. Yay! Right. Stupid salamander. Die. Oi. That's a cheating. Force bombardier beetle, Gallerita beetle. It just made my ants disappear. On the small prey tonight. It impersonates the true bombardier to ward off potential predators, and its mimicry isn't simply visual. It too can spray defensively from its abdomen. In this case, the fluid of choice is the familiar formic acid. Oh no, not formic acid. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Intruders in the nest. The ants must protect the queen. I swear, I'm gonna die right here, right now. <laughs> no. This cannot be! I made a horrible mistake. The ants must protect the queen. I made a horrible mistake! <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Well then... Uh, how far did I record? Holy crap, a one a freaking hour long. Well then another hour we go. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna skip to the end. So don't do, so that you don't have to watch me struggle. Or I don't know. I'll bring in the funny parts or so. This sucks. <laughs>
This Solenopsis Invicta Fire Ant Queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the fire ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. The colony lies in the shadow of a great titan to the north, an American bullfrog. This large female has found the perfect spot to feed, sheltered by foliage and in the path of many wandering insects and smaller amphibians, she has no reason to move on. Eventually she will need to be displaced, but for now, the fire Ants have more pressing business to attend to. The boggy soil surrounding the nest is lacking in nitrogen and phosphorus, nutrients vital for plants to photosynthesize and grow. To survive in this environment, some have evolved to supplement their mineral diet by trapping and dissolving invertebrate prey. Many of the milkweed plants growing nearby are infested with aphids. Their honeydew excretions present an ideal energy-rich food source for the fire ants. Aphids far from the nest are vulnerable, however, and are sometimes relocated closer to home where they can be better protected from predators and thieves. A six-spotted tiger beetle, Chichindala sexcutata, is on the move near the nest. Its metallic green elytra make it unmistakable, and like its other tiger beetle cousins, long legs give it the speed to chase down small arthropods with ease. A small colony of Fadele Morisi big-headed ants have established themselves on a hill to the west. Scavenging for seeds, aphids, and dead insects, they are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. A magnolia green jumping spider, Lysoman viridis, has ambushed a fire ant. It prefers to hunt on foliage where it is less likely to be spotted by predators and prey alike. Out on the ground it's more vulnerable, but that won't stop it from snacking on lone ants far from the safety of the nest. The fire ants have encountered a tribe of Monomoria minimum black ants. These tiny little ants may seem feeble, but the Invicta colony would do well to treat them with caution. Although primarily scavengers, they are armed with powerful chemical secretions and have been known on occasion to invade fire ant nests. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood.
The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. The ants will fight to the death. The ants have set upon a green link spider, Puchetcha viridans. She prefers to hunt on pitcher plants, but out in the open, she loses her advantage. Far from defenseless, however, when threatened, she can spit venom up to 30 centimeters from her fangs. A raiding party of little black ants are stealing aphids. They must be chased down quickly. The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the Fire Ant Nest. What is wrong with these sands?
As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge from moist crevices near the water's edge. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers, or not at all. I didn't even get a chance to go for these. A bombardier beetle, Brachinus altianans, is hunting for insects outside the nest. It may seem unwise for it to wander so freely amongst the large amphibians that share the swamp at night, but they would do well to leave it alone. This beetle is a master of chemical warfare. Seriously, they're still attacking me during the night as well? This is the first time they some defense on this system. Oh, time for a night raid. Are you kidding me? They're still going for me. What? This is the first time this is happening. What is wrong with them? This is literally the first time that happened to me. At night, eastern narrow-mouthed toads patrol above ground looking for food. Ants make up 75% of their oh, dogs, so the small colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. The ants have been attracted to secretions of nectar produced by a yellow pitcher plant. In order to feed, however, the ants must position themselves precariously over a deep vat of digestive liquid. Waxy deposits on the rim ensure that any ant that steps too far in won't be stepping out again. The fire ants and big-headed ants have met in their first skirmish. Sensing the new danger, the Morisi colony responds by awakening ancestral Stupid super soldier beetles. genes in selected brood, feeding them until their heads are engorged with muscle. Are you? What is this nonsense? What? The ants have clashed with a bombardier beetle. Feeling threatened, the beetle mixes a cocktail of chemicals that react together, boil, and explode from a valve at the base of its abdomen. Kill those motherfuckers. An ant has been devoured by Eurychea quadradicitata, a dwarf salamander. It is nimble, fast, and slender enough to wiggle through tight crevices in search of food.
go, go, go. They can't take all of us. Dawn breaks, and the salamanders and toads retire to their damp alcoves to wait out the sun. Only the great bullfrog remains. She sits patiently on her throne, waiting for the next meal to wander by. I feel sorry for these buggers. <laughs> The ants have uncovered a group of hungry checkered beetle larvae. The soft grubs may look defenseless, but they have big jaws and appetites to match. There are intruders in the nest. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. I wondered when they will attack. There are intruders in the nest. This time I'm gonna try to kill these spiders really quickly.
Quickly! Protect the aphids! Why didn't you announce that they're gonna attack narrator? The battle has begun. Gosh darn it. I can't rely on you. A raiding party of little black ants are stealing aphids. They must be chased down quickly. Even in small numbers, the fire ants are menacing. But in large numbers, they are virtually unstoppable. Yep, they're still coming for me. Thanks, Vito. Your sacrifice won't be in vain. The battle has begun. Strange that these guys didn't attack me yet. But these little black ants, man, they had beef with me. <laughs> They even attacked me during the night. the um, super soldiers did I forget to build them or aren't they able to build them because I sold their food strange very strange The big-headed ants now have a super soldier oh, caste you to justify them. their name. At huge economic cost to the colony, these frenzied champions have been raised and for one purpose. To crush the fire ants. Yep, the air they come. Fighter.
Whoa, 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 what? I haven't seen that animation before. Huh. That's like an execution animation. Wish I could give executions for the other end as well. That looks cool. Even though they killed my end, but that looked good. cool. Once again, dusk sets in over the swamp. Soon, the sandy undergrowth will be teeming with salamanders, toads, and nocturnal beetles. Even they are trying to attack me still there in the night. What's stepping stepping like that? These guys? Interesting. Very interesting. Use your spray! Excuse me? That spray did nothing on him. Was he not in range or something? You guys can stop attacking me because the toads are coming right now. Like, uh, can you stop? Thank you. Sheesh. A narrow-mouthed toad has burrowed into the nest. It may be small for a toad, but its appetite for ants is insatiable. Secretions from its skin burn any that manage to escape its projectile tongue. The ants will fight to the death.
the battle has begun. Defenseless caterpillars exposed on the underside of leaves are a welcome snack for the passing fire ants. The colony should take advantage while it can. Few meals surrender so willingly. A curious ant has ventured onto a Venus flytrap in search of nectar. If it brushes against the hairs on the open, red-tinged leaves, they will snap shut, encasing the ant in an ever-tightening cell. There is no escape. The prisoner will be slowly digested until nothing more than a husk remains. For the swamp amphibians, the nighttime feast is over. Toads give way to tiger beetles, and the ant colonies step up their activities. If the fire ants are to stand any chance of establishing a long-lasting empire, they must grow quickly. There is no time to waste. The ants must fight. A wasp mantid fly, Climachala brunea, has descended from her perch into the path of the ants. Unrelated to true mantids, her spiked raptorial forelegs are a perfect example of convergent evolution. By linking themselves together, the fire ants have formed a pontoon out of their own bodies. It stretches from their home territory to a previously unreachable island, giving them access to new sources of food. A wingless parasitic wasp, Dazimutilla occidentalis, more commonly known as the Red Velvet Ant, has wandered into Invicta territory. Although not on the hunt for fire ants, it will defend itself if threatened. Armed with an extremely powerful sting and displaying bright warning stripes, most creatures give it a wide berth. Thank you. 
We're kicking butt, I'm not gonna lie. But I but I learned my lesson that I don't I shouldn't get cocky. <laughs> Excuse me, what was that? <laughs> The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. your position guys they shall not get our aphids A raiding party of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. They must be stopped. Still are with aphids.
Hmm. Where's the night coming? The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. Night approaches, and the predators of the day give way to their nocturnal counterparts. As they encroach on colony territory, battles must be chosen wisely. Spread too thin, the fire ants could find themselves quickly overwhelmed. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. A fully developed checkered beetle, Enoclerus rosmaris, has been disturbed by the ants. It has the same ravenous appetite and slicing jaws as its juvenile counterpart, but now paired with thick armor plates, it represents a far greater danger to the colony. There are intruders in the nest. There are intruders in the nest. The ants must defend themselves. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected.
<clears throat> this frog's got nothing on me. Staving off another night of attacks, the Invicta colony once again proves its strength. Despite this victory, there is yet one obstacle that stands in its way. Ever present, the bullfrog looms over the ants. The beast must be defeated. And it shall be defeated one day. <laughs> <coughs> First the colonies have to go. The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. Is that so? Oh. They are asking for it. Charge! They attack me? No, I attack them. The Monomoria Minimum Colony is almost defeated. The Invictor Army must press their advantage. The little black ants fought to the last to defend their queen. Now the Invictor Colony will enjoy the spoils of war. 
Defenseless larvae from the vanquished colony will be carried home and Still fed out. to the victor's own hungry brood. I swear that's the new wolf spider. <laughs> Might be even stronger than the wolf spider. A raiding party of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. They must be stopped. Thank you, spider. You beautiful little creature.
Now it's my turn. To kill the queen! The Morisi colony has fallen. Their champions spent and their queen vanquished. In the end, they could not stand up to the might of the Invicta army. Alright, now I should not F this up again. <laughs> time I'm making sure we're gonna be victorious As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge from moist crevices near the water's edge. Lone Don't invertebrates will be picked well. off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers, or not at all. That could probably work. A false bombardier beetle, Gallerita beecola, is also on the prowl for small prey tonight. It impersonates the true bombardier to ward off potential predators, and its mimicry isn't simply visual. It too can spray defensively from its abdomen. In this case, the fluid of choice is the familiar formic acid. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Thank you. 
kicking butt. tonight <laughs> now we are gonna kill this big frog Dawn breaks, and the salamanders and toads retire to their damp alcoves to wait out the sun. Only the great bullfrog remains. She sits patiently on her throne, waiting for the next meal to wander by. Alright guys, are you ready for me to finish this game? Just finish this grind, this level, this whatever. Are you all ready? Well, firstly I have to upgrade some of the stuff first. Don't mind me. Just gonna upgrade for and build more workers. The ants must defend themselves. Stand ready, you fools!
This is gonna be my main assault assault team. The fire ants have mounted their first attack upon the great American bullfrog, Lita Bates Catesbianus. The brave frontline soldiers are quickly crushed and eaten. They must surround and swarm the enormous creature to stand any chance of defeating it. Eliminate the bullfrog! Again and again, soldiers clamp onto the bullfrog's leathery skin and inject their solenopsis venom, but the beast shows no signs of wavering. The fire ants must maintain their resolve. Kill it! For the fire queen! Overwhelmed with burning venom, oh, the bullfrog finally does. succumbs to the might of the fire ants. Oh, you thought it was over? It collapses nope. on the hillside, leaving it's the victims free <laughs> to consume its body. Unbeknownst to the ants, the presence of the bullfrog was keeping many other local amphibians at bay. The power vacuum it left behind is attracting a host of salamanders and frogs eager to take its place. The ants should go to ground quickly and prepare for the imminent chaos. Like he said, prepare for chaos! They ain't got nothing on me.
Victory! As the anarchy above ground settles and with the invaders crushed, a new order is established. And that's this how we do it, guys. This is now the domain of the Fire Ant. I also tried this with Pervasive, but it's much, much better with a Vigorous or whatever it is. And that's how we beat the level. Well then, this is gonna be a <laughs> this is gonna be a pain to edit. But I hope all of you enjoyed, even though there's not really much of you watching. But I still enjoy you guys watching. The former Curium. is he gonna say the words again? Let us see. So note to self, don't be cocky next time. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. I With the proper it. exposure and stimulation, the mutation possibilities are boundless. The potential for amalgamation, which is of course an epistatic effect owing to increased cytoplasmic facidity in what the- What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Preparing the report. Can you not do it quietly? Perhaps try using the keyboard? The keyboard? How quaint. Ugh. Well, before I exit, it's just, let's see how the surface looks like. Interesting. What does that say? That's oh, the same. All right. S ten. Tell the what? Hold on. Where? What was? What was the button again? Is it nine? Yes. Um. Gosh darn it, I forgot the buttons. It's <laughs> tenilium. Tenilum? Okay. And this one is... Is Fuscum. This one... Is Balt 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 Baltagum? What? All right. Huh. I wonder how this is gonna go. <laughs> There's probably gonna be Titans again. But anyways, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go now. See everybody later.